No, wait. Do you know that you can use a lot of money in feeding your pigs and in the end, they might not convert that feed that you are giving them into body weight. Why is this so? Let's look at FCL. My name is Angela Ayite and today we are going to look at the feed conversion rate of pigs. I think I've had this comment a couple of times where people say, um, why is feed conversion rate important? Even what is feed conversion rate? So we are going to look at it in depth today. Let's get right into today's video. So what at all is feed conversion rate? Let's take the name very slowly. We said feed conversion rate. So feed conversion rate is simply the ratio that measures the efficiency of how livestock, different types of livestock, be it cows, pigs, goats, chicken, whatever livestock, how that livestock is able to convert feed given into body weight. So to make it simpler, let's take it into mathematical terms. So we are going to say that feed conversion rate, which is FCR, is equal to the weight of feed given all over the weight gained by the animal. So over here, our animal of interest is the pig. So we are going to say that our feed conversion rate is equal to the weight of feed that we are going to give to our pigs all over the weight that our pig is going to gain at the end of the feeding process. So there are two values that we have to get or ascertain before we are able to calculate our FCR. And that is the weight of the feed that we are giving to the piglet over whatever period it is. And then the weight gained by the piglet. So for the weight of the feed, we can measure that using um, a weighing scale. To get the weight gained by the pig, then it means that we have to know the initial weight of the pig prior to being fed or prior to the feeding program. And then we have to know the final weight of the pig after the feeding. So the weight of the pig prior to feeding and the weight of the pig after feeding. So to find the weight gain, we are going to have final weight of the pig minus the initial weight of the pig and that is going to give us the weight that the pig has gained after the feeding period so let's bring in a real life example to make this much simpler and understandable so let's say you're having two animals animal a and animal b and then you are feeding them with the same amount of feed over the same period of time note that in the beginning you have to weigh animal A and animal B. So let's say animal A weighs 50 kg and animal B weighs the same 50 kg. Then we are feeding them with, let's say, 100 kg of feed. Let's say we are feeding them over a period of one month. And then at the end of this one month period, animal A weighs 100 kg. So that's the final weight of animal A. And then the final weight of animal B is say 85 kg at the end of the feeding period so the initial weight of each animal was what 50 50 and their final weights are 185 and remember that for our feed conversion rate we have to know the weight gained by each of these animals so for animal a the weight gained is going to be 100 minus 50 kg which will give us 50 kg and for animal b the weight gained is going to be 85 minus 50 kg which is going to give us 35 kg. So now let's come to calculating FCRs for these two animals. So for the FCR for animal A, it is going to be the weight of the feed given to the animal over the weight gained by the animal. So for animal A, we are going to have 100, which is the weight of the feed we, are, we give to both animals, 100 each. So we are going to have 100 over 50 which is going to give us two, meaning that the feed conversion rate for animal A is two. And then for animal B, our feed conversion rate is going to be 100, which is the weight of feed given to the animal over that period, all over the weight gained by the animal, which is 35. So for animal B, we are going to have 2.85. That is the um, FCR for animal B. So looking at these two animals, we realize that animal A has a lower FCR or feed conversion rate compared to animal B. So at this point, let me just ask a simple question and see if you can get it before we proceed. Between animal A and animal B, which of them do you think has a better feed conversion rate? Let me give you five seconds to process this and give an answer.
Okay, I guess you have your answer now. So I'm going to proceed to answer it now. Animal A has a better feed conversion rate than animal B. Did anyone get it right? Okay, now this is why. The lower the feed conversion rate, the higher the efficiency of the animal. Because let's look at the whole scenario. So we give animal A 100 kilograms of feed, the same as animal B. Animal A was able to gain 50 kilograms and animal B gained only 35 kilograms. So which of them converted feed better? It is obviously animal A because at the end of the feeding period, even though they both had the same weight from the start, animal A was able to convert our 100 kilograms of feed into 50 kilograms of body weight. And that is a very good conversion rate. So I'm hoping with this illustration, you have a somewhat better understanding of the feed conversion rate of animals. So now we are going to specifically talk about the feed conversion rate of pigs. So now I think I have the chance to answer this comment someone made. That um, how, how did I ascertain my FCR values? I think in one of the videos where I was calculating the feed that is needed to feed um, pigs at the different stages of their lives, I mentioned the FCR. The FCR value I used in those calculations was a standard value. Because to calculate FCR values on your own is very cumbersome. Now, why is this so? To calculate um, the feed conversion rate of a certain group of animals, let's say pigs, because that's a topic of interest. It means that you have to get a large population of pigs, where you are going to randomly select some of the pigs, get their initial weight, feed them with a certain amount of feed, and then also calculate their final weight and then with that you're able to strike averages and all that you have to put a lot of measures in place make sure that all the feed that you give to the animals is taken in and none of them is wasted so imagine trying to calculate the fcr values on your own it's going to be very very hectic so there have been experiments done and then the fcr values have been already calculated so we just go ahead and use them so we use those standard values in calculating the amount of feed that every pig needs at every stage in their life. So you know generally at the younger stages where the animals are much smaller, their growth efficiency is better because they use less energy and more of their feed is focused towards their growth. So I think now we are clear on what the feed conversion rate is. Now why is the feed conversion rate even important? Why should you know the feed conversion rate of pigs? Why should you know it? or any other animal that you are wearing as well. Why should you know its feed conversion rate? One, feed conversion rate helps to calculate the amount of feed that you are supposed to give to your pig for them to gain a certain amount of weight that you want them to gain. So we know that FCR is equal to the weight of the feed all over the weight gained by the animal. So let's say you want your pig which weighs 50 kg to weigh 100 kg it means that you need your pig to gain another 50 kg so the weight of the feed they are supposed to feed the animal is going to be the fcr times the weight that you want the animal to gain so let's bring it to mathematical terms fcr equals weight of feed over weight gain so now weight of feed is going to be fcr times the weight gain so the weight of feed they have to give the pig to gain 50 kg is going to be the FCR of pigs times the weight that we wanted to gain and with that you have your weight of feed so you know the amount of feed that you are supposed to give to the animal to gain weight to gain that weight that you need in a certain period of time so let's say you want the pig to gain 50 kg over a period of say two months that is 60 days so if the amount of feed you have to give to animal is say 100 kilograms then it means you spread it over that 60 days 100 kilograms divided by 60 then you get the amount you're supposed to feed the animal each day so by the end of that two weeks your animal is going to gain that 50 kg of feed because you have ascertained the exact amount of feed you have to give to the animal and you are going to give the animal that same feed so that is how feed conversion rate or the FCR is going to help you the feed conversion rate can also help you to identify quality feed on the market so if you're a farmer that feeds your pigs with already made feed from these companies then you can use this you can use fcr to tell if the feed that the companies are giving you is of high quality now how do you do this 
when you buy the feed you know the fcr or the feed conversion rate of your pigs already let's say they are growing so you know the feed conversion rate for pigs that are growing so this is how fcr is going to help you we already know that the fcr is equal to the weight of the feed over the weight gain so with this then means the weight gained by the animal can be calculated by dividing the weight of the feed by the fcr so that will give you the weight that's supposed to be gained by the animal so let's say you are feeding the animal with 100 kilograms of feed and you know that the fcr at the grower stage is let's say two so 100 over two is 50. so you know that at the end of the feeding period when you give the animal 100 kilograms of that particular feed it is supposed to gain 50 kilograms then if at the end the animal does not gain that 50 kilograms and it gains let's say just 20 kilograms then you know that the feed that you've bought even though its weight is 100 kilograms the quality of the feed is low because remember if you are feeding pigs to gain good weight it is not just based on the quantity of the feed you give the pig but also based on the quality do you get it so you can feed the pig that 100 kilograms and it will end up not gaining 50 kilograms so that will tell you that the source or where you buy your feed from is not good they are not using high or quality products to make that feed for you so you can switch to a different um, company so look at how fcr is good it will help you to be able to select a company that produces high quality feed for your pigs to be able to grow very well knowing the feed conversion rate or fcr can also help in preventing feed wastage or overfeeding because you because having the fcr you know the exact amount of feed that each pig should be given a day so you wouldn't go beyond that quantity if you go beyond it the animal is going to just waste the feed or that feed is going to contribute to obesity which is going to have very bad effects on your pigs we have already talked about overfeeding and obesity and its consequent problems so you wouldn't want that on your farm another good thing about fcr is that it can help you in estimating the cost of feed that you need to feed your pigs if you know the fcr value for the pig at every stage of their life cycle you can be able to calculate the feed that the pig needs at every stage so let's say that you want your pig to gain 100 kilograms before you sell it off so right from birth you are you're already targeting 100 kilograms right so you can use that fcr value your fcr value that you know at the grower stage to calculate the amount of weight that they, you want the pig to gain in that winner stage the grower stage and then the finisher stage and then knowing the exact amount of feed that you need you'll be able to know the cost let's say throughout the cycle from winner grower to finisher you need 100 kilograms then you can go to the market ask for the price of 100 kilograms of pig feed and then you do that and then you're able to get the cost even at the winner stage the price of the the feed is um, different so we have grower feed you have finisher feed so you just ask for the prices calculate the exact amount you need from that and then you'll be able to find your cost of feed i think i've done that in one of my previous videos so if this is not so clear you can go back and look at it amount of feed that pigs need at the different stages in their lives so that is the importance of fcr we have talked about what fcr is and then it's important so that is all for today's video and i'll see you in my next video it's bye for now